It's just going to be a boring fight in the top lane, but meanwhile Dominus has an incandescent goes in Shadow Base Slaughter, takes out the far side, but he's getting ganged out on and JPL would train. The battlefield. You can have Smash your them. you can have a lot of the members kind All of face tank deployed. face tank the damage kind of kite it around to allow uh Farsa to come in later on. Like Farsa doesn't need to open up with the feather airstrike. She can kind of wait on it. What well, we we'll just have to see. There you go the face right. Just uh, taking a page out, out of uh, Resurgence's book. Hey man, gotta maximize that cooldown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta maximize your resources. But yeah, the opening seems pretty okay because they've identified that Geek Fam requires a double buff start, a double buff start for their carries. And I think Evos did a really good job. Soul cuts the wave. He's gonna take a bit of damage, but he is Uranus, so he doesn't care. Hops over the wall with the extra charm. And now Evos SG now again contesting the river sprite. Ah, uh, you get it? I'm not sure who got it. Oh, oh you yes, got it, Odin Bambi. There we go. Because I, I saw it running down, it's like, is it running down towards the mid lane or the side? I can't see it. Okay, so a decent start for Evo Sashi taking out arts for that first blood. Yeah, and they rushed Pokemon to level 4, which is really good, but now Soul is under uh, is under a lot of fire. He pops the A just quick. He sees everybody coming, he's like, alright, I'm out, I'm out. Me and you, JPL, we're getting out of this. Yeah, because in game 1, Geekweb did the exact same thing. They brought 4 guys to kill off Soul, and basically they made Soul's entire game an absolute nightmare. Geekweb yeah. trying to do that again, but this time Soul is ready, and Evo's SG will take that tier 1 pretty quickly with that Kimmy. In the top lane, yeah, and I think what's nice, what the good adaptation coming in from Evos here is that they've dedicated too many. Oh, the bouncing ball coming in from Zorn. I don't think that's going to kill Soul, but now Ooh. Dominus is there to help secure it. Incandescence giving him that extra uh, distance before the Shadow Blade slaughter to ensure the kill. Yeah, incandescence. Woo. Woo. Such a sexy word that means pretty much nothing <laughs> in this context. <laughs> Does not reflect anything <laughs> about him at all, but it's yeah. it's cool. It's cool. Word. Given that it's, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool word. But as you can see, Evos coming. They actually did manage to defend it. They sacrificed. They sacrificed their members. Yeah, Soul unfortunately had to take the bullet this time, but they were able to take that top tier one. Bot tier one still stands. Yep, and it seems like. But the difference between game one and game two is given. They are not spending too much time trying to take that structure. Mm -hmm. Evos actually did that in game one, which gave Geek Fam a lot of space. But now Evos, uh, but now Geek Fam, they identified the situation of the game, and Evos SG, they're trying to replicate what Geek Fam did. You yeah. know, utilize the space uh, to gain advantage across the map. But Geek Fam, they're just waiting to respawn. The immediate flicker away from Dawn to not get ejected soon. back. I wouldn't say that they are replicating. I, I think they're adapting a little bit better because, again, last game they were doing the exact same thing. Both wanted the structure, both wa both wanted to go for the dive. And I think Evos this time understood that, hey, I have a draw ahead. If they come from the back, at the very least, you can create an ejector and you might save your friend. Lan, he spotted out, oh. almost getting onto it, but he does have the ultimate of the bouncing ball will be used. Lan turns into a bird and flies away, and he was actually now like, oh, but JPL, the action team with the ultimate. Not going to commit to that. Yeah, Geekfam wants to back away because remember, they have Farsa on the side of Evos SG. It's going to be tough for them to get on this turtle. Is JPL in trouble? No, he's fine. He's fine. So, this is definitely a better start for uh, for Uranus compared to game 1, not punished, not that punished and able to contest the wave against Damos so you keep that Damos 24-7 uh, occupied Fast on Feather Airstrike just clears out the wave again Geek Fam not able to do any push Geek Fam will try to take that turtle instead Yep, and now they got the turtle they're gonna make their way over towards, mid uh, towards middle try and get some kind of control but now they've kind of switched to swap the lanes they want to get that bottom tier one and soul is having the time of his life because now there is not no real objective to contest on top side so there's no need for people to dive him <laughs> yeah and geek fam are also preoccupied uh preoccupied with the rest of the people's sg it's just going to be a boring fight in the top lane but meanwhile dominus has an incandescent goes in shadow base slaughter takes out the far side but he's getting ganged out on and jpl will trade it back taking out the cushion Meanwhile, so and he jumps on by Arts, but it's the Uranus, doesn't really care too much. JPL looking for someone to toss back, not able to get that. Thorn jumps in, it's time of revenge. Protect the structure for now. 
Yeah, they're gonna be able to hold on for now, but where does Geekman kinda wanna go with this? Because they're trading extremely evenly. However, Evos is only slightly ahead. Ozorbeki might be in a little bit of trouble here. The rest of the team is coming them. Are they setting up a dive? Yes, they're cutting the wave, but but their minions are just too far away, and I think the rest of the team is responding. They missed their dive opportunity, uh, their dive timing there. No, but it's fine. Clearing out the way, forcing both Dominus oh, 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 to the bottom. Leo is picking up Dominus. Pokemon taken out. That's sad. Wait, is this his first death? Is this Pokemon's first death? I think yesterday in any, any, any of his games weren't that great, but JPL is going to be the next person to go down. A really good setup coming in by Geek Fam, making sure that he can't get away. But again, Dominus is right there to be like, hey, you try anything, I will cut you down. Yeah, Dominus on Calamity Reef 15. Purchase, so again, take it out. Our, they're gonna send Kimmy to the top as well. Odia Bambi will be the backup. Did they have Farsa? Inside, okay, if you Farsa in, Zorn is ready again. High revenge. They can't face check this, they just they, they are getting completely soon. zoned out because of some great. Oh boy. But the S drive, but there's the revitalized, so our stuff doesn't really care. Okay. Kill back up. He was actually, they need that mid tier one. Yeah, they kind of do, but again, Turtle is up on uh, up on the field, and that might give them a little bit of an edge, uh, especially considering that Kimmy now has you know the Turtle buff, which is going to deal a little bit of true damage. That's going to help out every bit they can. Zoin gets an initial hit onto Soul, but again, it's Soul on a Uranus, not the best target, and even Zoin appreciates that. Yeah, and every time Zoin goes to the engage, you can see Dominus is ready to follow up. However, it was actually they get the Turtle. They defended their structure, they almost take out the tier 2, now backup is coming in, in the form of Zorn, goes to the time to defend, taking no a lot of aggro damage, but so, oh my goodness, still alive! You'll be able to defend that tier 2 for what? now. What? How? Oh! Here no. comes Dominus though! There you go. Okay, so he pops up the Aegis, I'm pretty sure he has a Bloodlust, I'm pretty sure he has a Bloodlust, or at the very least a Concentrated Energy or something, because he is spell vamping really, really hard! I'm trying to figure out what it is exactly, but you know, the rest of the team kind of rotating around is Geekham, holding their position, waiting for, you know, particular catches or uh, particular catches from the other SG and Dominus! We didn't even get to see the full combination because he did it so fast! How? 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 Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna question it. Ooh! Dominus. Double kill, and there was the power of the Na Nana ultimate. Dominus still looking for more. Has that buff on him? There we go. Incandescent misses that. Sword Spike, so lucky for Pokemon. Yeah, he's not gonna get yeah, he's not gonna get one shot this time round, but how does Evos actually get out of this position? Right now, they're both at, they're basically even. However, Geek Fam has been getting more kills, but Evo's SG has been firing more proficiently on top of all the gold the turtle has been able to provide. Therefore, now they're both at 21k. Nothing has actually happened. Yeah, they, I'm surprised they actually even go uh, even network for both teams despite Geek Fam having seven kills to two. But they're definitely getting more objective uh, in terms of how they manage their macro. <laughs> he was actually slowing down, slowing things down. But so, they caught up off the ages again. Damn it, he's not gonna die. Is he? Oh, he's gonna die. Maybe not. Uh, oh, oh, it, like, uh, it, it takes so long to kill him, that's what's so frustrating. <laughs> but Geek Fam will be able to take uh, top tier 2, as well as bottom Geek tier Geek 1 going over the people's SG. It's gonna be a win for Geek Fam every time they kill so if uh, Evos don't utilize the time that's so biased for them to make something happen. And coincidentally, there's nothing on the map. Evos cannot force a fight. Geek Fam, they win in the end. But just look at this death trap. Okay, they walk out. I was holding my breath there a little bit. Feast all of a sudden using the Rhapsody a little randomly get spotted out there, but I think Evos and Geek Fam are playing the exact same Request game. They don't want to get caught, they're just looking for that really good engage. Yeah, and I think if if Evos gets caught out, Geek Fam will just snowball this out of control. But <laughs> let's just watch them just standing next to each other. Yeah, this is just a very awkward stalemate because remember, Evos SG, they don't exactly have ways of uh, hard engaging in a 5-man team fight. Maybe in a 2v2, 3v3, but Geek Fam on the other hand, that Kufra is becoming such a problem because they are is it, but he is opening a lot of space and again there we're talking about Zorn finds the capture of the person he wants with Feeks right behind him. That is a lot of damage against Soul. Yeah, Soul just evaporated. 
So since the Evos actually will be boxed in their place again, just like game one. Oh boy, this is not looking good. We know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be like a drag on to like 15 minutes, 17 minutes, and Geek Fam will have to use second point to break and win. Yeah, this is uh the Geek Fam the Geek Fam textbook. Okay. Ah, uh, the bleeding has only just begun for Evos SG as Geek Fam looks to find another fight. Oh, this is, doesn't look too bad. Evos SG forced them out of the jungle. They take away Gargoyle, but Lord, uh, soon. I wouldn't say much has happened. Not enough happened for the side of Evos SG and Geek Fam. They they knew it. They just knew it. They had to disengage from the fight. Yeah, and when the next fight, by the time the next fight begins. All, all both teams will have uh, their ultimates and the battle spells ready, so it's gonna be a full fledged team fight. But Zorn trying to defense, finds JPL. JPL does he want to come in? No, he does not because Fix is there with the Death Zone. I think I'll as well. Dominus goes in with the Incontestants and they will find the first kill. It's on to Farsa, but Zorn is gonna lose that immortality. Can Evo actually follow up? Do they want to though? Nana with the ultimate, or Zorn wants to disengage from that. He'll be able to do so. Support him off with her JPL into a Totoro. But JPL goes out in with ultimate with smart missiles again. Zorn dropping quite low. Oh! But as he survived, he actually survived! Oh my goodness, Anana Pass keeping it alive, and so is in maximum charge from the Kimmy. Not enough Pokemon is here. here. Oh, the Zorn actually wants to clean things out, and they will get to Dominus and Zorn. He goes down. Zorn might be at the leaves over with the Timer's Revenge, but not enough to get out. Also, the Split Push bottom lane to take that inhibitor turret. Can he do so? Here comes the Feather Air Strike, and the Farsa will be able to successfully defend the structure, and he was actually will take that first Lord. Uh, really unfortunate there. Sadly, Zorn didn't land. Uh, uh, didn't land the tyrant's, uh, tyrant's rage, which is so so sad. He was just like a pixel up, and he actually hopped over into Oh Dear Bambi. That was just unfortunate. Oh, he was actually actually claw clawing back, and like you mentioned, if you are in a big deficit, you want to get even. Now, also the revival by trying to fight the members of Evil. He's actually not able to do so. At JPL, he found Fix and. Fix gets destroyed! Double kill for Pokemon! Yeah, really shouldn't be walking into dangerous territory there, but now Lord is coming and coming to crash on through. They've evened out the gold differential. Now Evos is ahead by 2k and Geek Fam is on the back foot. Oh, how the tables have turned for the side of Geek Fam. Oh, Geek Fam is playing this so well. Excuse me, Evos SG being able to come back from. From such a deficit, now evening out the, the net worth and extending it to almost a 3k lead. First thought they go for push so just like Odorama can already caught out. No passive for the Nana though, so Nana has to be really careful. But the Ash is going to zone out the rest of Geek Fam. They already took down one inhibitor. They go for the second one. Arts tries to do something with the ultimate, but there's nothing that he can do. JPL now is the one that's taunting Geek Fam. Get, giving Zone a taste of his own medicine and Zorn. Can't even engage with the Tyrus Revenge. Yeah, they can't get on top of anybody. This is just too difficult of a game for them right now. As they play very, very carefully in hopes that they don't get caught out. Evos, on the other hand, they are in prime position. They've hit their peak now. And you can see the graph, how much of a, how much of a big skewer that one fight was. Yeah, and Dauntless can't really just 100 to 0, uh, 100 to 0 Pokemon anymore because not just because he had purified, but also because he bought the Rose Gold Media. Mm. The extra shield and resistance is gonna help him survive in those crucial fights. Geek Fam. It seems like Deja Vu like yesterday where, Dog, where the Gusher just falls off into the game, into the latest stage of the game. He was actually so to take out the damage, give up his life orders. Can they take that inhibitor turret? It seems like not. They can't. Geek Fam defends the structure for now. So he was actually gonna look for reset Zorn now. Oh. They compromise Odora Vecchi. Not in a good spot. Better aspect comes out. Odora Vecchi tries to stop that ultimate. Manning to kill off the force of whip his own ultimate and now Zorn with a re-engage to take out the immortality from JPL and force evil SG to retreat. So Geek Fam, they hold on to their base. Huh. I did not expect Farsa to die just like that. Huh. Well you can if you view full magic damage and yeah. Ooh, lightning trunger, clock of destiny, man, he does not care. He just wants to be I want to be relevant and I'm gonna deal damage. And now, rest of the team, Evos SG. This has now become a stalemate. Yeah. A very, very clear stalemate. You, you need the next lord. <laughs> they really need this next lord is thing. this uh, starting from Evo's SG. It's gonna be sending they, they should send Soul to the bottom lane to draw attention and hopefully, you know, force Geek to defend that last structure. Because if that, that inverter turret goes down, Evo's SG will have such a massive um, advantage in controlling the map. Mm -hmm, but Zoravaki mm -hmm. and Freeze being spotted out. The glowing one just burning them down. 
Yeah, I think Evo's SG has got them in a really good position because Vamos hasn't shown himself. He's going to show himself right now, and this is going to be the call where it's like, all right, we need to start taking control over this entire lane. Take everything in the jungle. If anybody is out, look to fight. Yeah, bottom lane. Is, is, that is their biggest objective because if they get the bottom lane, they wait for one oh. with the crash, and they'll be able to take Lord. But Zorn jumps in, 5 JBL, DPS, ejection, tosses it back by the air strike. A lot of damage under the cool fry. He cannot die, but he'll lose that first life. Here comes the you know, with that ultimate. Oh no! Oh dear! Bambi dies as well! This is gonna be a mega kill for Pokemon. Oof. Oh my god, another damage. Oh, that damage. Lun was like, I'm out, bird form away. They trade one for one, which honestly is not too bad because now that Zorn is gone, they don't have an initial gauge. Now, Geek Fam, on the other hand, they have the damage. They just need Dominus to somehow get on top of Pokemon or at the very least get rid of Lun. Oh my goodness, the uh, Nana damage. You really cannot underestimate the amount of burst because it's not even about the burst. It's just the fact that she slows you down mm -hmm. so you can't run away. But both teams are going to wait for their members to come back. Oh dear, Bambi, 5 seconds away. Zorn will respawn right now. So we have to deal with parts, but at the same time, Pix is nearby. <laughs> I guess... Is, yeah, this is... This is just sad. If, I think Arts is just like, at this point in time, just like, alright, I'm just gonna build up my damage. Oh, now Arts is trying to turn it around onto Lun, but Lun can get on out of it. He pops the ultimate, he's gonna re-heal as much as he can, but it's getting denied here. It's becoming a little bit difficult. He's sweating, and he has to get out. Maximum impact does not hit. Whew, that was a that was a close one. Uh, he was actually were already in the vicinity, but decided to not com fully commit. So they cannot lose so at this stage of the game, but look at where Zorn is. He is in prime position. And Geek Fam, they are rotating their members. They're making a the call that we can collapse. We want to Zorn already jumps in. They actually find the ultimate. Or to the cross! This might be the fight that Geek Fam needs to win the game! They suppress this cool back cool still survive, but oh my god, the pull is straight through double kill for the stranger. Fix makes it out alive. So still still in the fight, but I think this is it. Zorn! Again and again, he is the one that breaks the game open for Geek Fam and Evo's SG. I think they have reached the end of the road. Geek Fan will go for the win right here, right now. Yeah, they were on Lord. They realized we've got a huge bottom wave. There's three Siege minions, a very low inhibitor. We're going to end this. Zorn once again getting on top of Pokemon, but he does take the kill. Pokemon, he's pretty big, but I don't think he can deal with three people. And especially with Dominus hovering over him, Feeks is able to chunk it out. One last ditch effort gets one more kill before the game is closed out. GG well played to Geek Fam. That was a solid game. Yeah, that two games in a row. All it took was one was Zorn. Pretty much Zorn getting some.